Good morning, Southwest Florida. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. I'm Janelle Simmons. Today we have baseball spring training, Naples Airport making changes, and more. Today's Thursday, February 25th, and this is the Morning Report. With the early stages of 2016 in full swing, the City of Naples Airport Authority has wasted no time finding its new Executive Director, Chris Rosansky, after the announced retirement of its longtime director, Ted Soliday, who has held the position since 1994. Rosansky will bring his talent to the Airport Authority March 28th and will fully take over Executive Director April 16th, one day after Soliday's retirement. To learn more about him, visit Naples Herald. As bathrooms become battlegrounds in the national debate over anti-discrimination laws, a city council's decision to protect the restroom choices of transgender people in Charlotte, North Carolina was cheered Tuesday by rights advocates as a courageous move. But it may not stand for very long. Governor Pat McCrory said that the bathroom provision denies privacy rights for people who expect to share restrooms or locker rooms only with people born with the same anatomy. For more details on this controversy, go to Naples Herald. Hammond Stadium, the spring training home of the Minnesota Twins, was decked out in blue and red on Sunday. Fans, coaches, and players meeting in Fort Myers. Spring training was in full swing with all 38 pitchers and catchers reporting. For a Minnesota Twins spring training rundown, check out Tyler Mosher's story. That was the morning report for today. I'm Janelle Simmons. The morning report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.